So one thing that you'll notice here is that we have this memory keyword. And you'll notice if you try to delete it from our function here, and you try to compile, you actually run into an error. Data location must be memory or call data for parameter in function. Now, there are actually six places you can store data in Solidity. You have the stack, memory, storage, call data, code, and logs. We're not gonna go over these right now, but we are gonna focus on three of the big ones or three of the important ones for this section, which are call data, memory, and storage. So for this section, we're gonna talk about call data, memory, and storage. And this is a little bit advanced. So if you don't totally grasp it the first time, that's totally okay. Please continue, even if it's not crystal clear what's going on here. Call data and memory mean that the variable is only gonna exist temporarily. So this name variable only exists temporarily during the transaction that this add person function is called. Storage variables exist even outside of just the function executing. Even though we didn't specify it up above, our favorite number is automatically cast to be a storage variable since it's not explicitly defined in one of these functions. Since we don't need this name variable anymore after this function runs, we can keep it as memory or we could keep it as call data. You can have a parameter as call data if you don't end up modifying the name. For example, we couldn't reassign name to equal cat here. If we compile, we run into an error. Type literal string cat is not implicitly convertible to expect to type string call data. However, if we have this as memory and we compile and save it, that error goes away. Call data is temporary variables that can't be modified. Memory is temporary variables that can be modified. And storage is permanent variables that can be modified. Now, even though I just said there's actually six places where we can access and store information, we cannot say a variable is stack, code, or logs. We can only say memory, storage, or call data. You'll learn why in a much later section. Now, this is a bit of an oversimplification of this. But that's essentially what's going on. The next question you might have is, well, why do I need to say memory here, but I don't need to say memory here? Well, let's go ahead, put memory here and hit control S or compile, and let's see what happens. We get from Solidity, data location can only be specified for an array, struct, or mapping types, but memory was given. Arrays, structs, and mappings are considered special types in Solidity. Solidity automatically knows where a UNT256 is going to be. Solidity knows that for this function, a UNT256 is gonna live just in memory. However, it's not sure what a string is gonna be. Strings are actually kind of complicated. Behind the scenes, a string is actually an array of bytes. And since a string is an array, we need to add this memory bit to it because we need to tell Solidity the data location of arrays, structs, or mappings. And a string is secretly an array. So that's why we need to tell it it's in memory. You'll notice we can't add the storage keyword here. Solidity also knows that since this is a function, this name variable isn't actually getting stored anywhere. So it says, hey, you can't have that. You need to have it be memory or call data. And those are the only two that it accepts. So this is what we want our function to look like here. So the summary of this is structs, mappings, and arrays need to be given this memory or call data keyword when adding them as a parameter to different functions. We'll learn more about storage, memory, and call data in later sessions. Thank <laughs> you.